Welcome back to the Ibu Chelsea Tube Channel. Today's class, I'm going to be learning how to make this beautiful cow neckline with shirt collar. Okay, so this cow neckline will be made using no pattern. Okay, we're not going to be using a pattern for this, we're going to be cutting and sewing it directly on our fabric. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So, we're going to be making this cow neckline directly on our fabric we're not going to be using patterns for this because we already have several tutorials on how to do that using the slash and spread method so now this is going to be directly on our fabric i'm going to cut the back first and that's what we're going to use to cut the front so now you're just going to draft your regular basic bodies for the back it does not have a that so the length that i want for mine is 20 inches you can see i'm marking 20 inches from the hem upwards so that I can have a straight line for my sh for my shoulder and then after that I'm going to draft my basic bodies so from here I'm going to take my shoulder measurement shoulder is 14 divided by 2 is 7 so I have 7 here for my neckline I'm working with a neck width of 3 inches and the neck depth of 1 inch okay and then I'm going to connect that and then I'm going to take my ham hole measurement. Ham hole is 8 inches. So on that point, I'm going to take my bust measurement. The bust is 40 divided by 4 is 10. So here I'm marking 10 inches and then I'm going to add 1 inch for seam allowance. So here, if you want to shape your waistline, but it's very close to my waist, so I'll just take the round measurement of that point. And for me, that is about 32 inches where by four is eight so i'm going to mark eight inches here i'm adding half an inch is and then i had my seam allowance as well so now i'm going to connect like this and then i'm going to come down by one inch from my shoulder slope and then i'm going to connect my arm o curve as well so after doing this we are going to cut it out and then we'll use the back to cut out the front okay. so this is my body for the back so I have cut it out now and this is what we have so I'm just going to remove this so this is my back so for the front I'm going to put the fabric on fold again and this time I'm going to be putting it on fold on bias like this in form of a triangle that's how you fold your fabric on bias so you can see i'm folding it okay so after folding on bias now you can see our fold point here and you can see that it is in form of a triangle so let me open it up so that we can see what i did here so on this fold point a i'm going to place my back on it like this fold point matching fold point and then the next thing we need to do now is to tilt this back to introduce volume to the front for our cow so i've placed this like this i'm just tilting it so you open it up depending on how much you want your cow to fall so this is a very deep plunging neckline so i'm going to open it up a bit okay you can open by four five six inches but i think i have about 10 inches i'm going to be opening it up by 10 inches we'll see what 10 inches is going to give us and then you can adjust accordingly so from my fold point from the front where it stops here i'm just marking about 10 inches you can see that i have 10 inches here so after marking the 10 inches on my shoulder point then my shoulder stops which is here remember this is the neckline i'm going to take my ruler and then i'm going to connect it in a v form like this diagonally so this is going to cut facing okay i'm going to be cutting to facing together with it that's why i'm not working with um, my actual straight measurement that's why i'm placing it in a v form like this to match up with what i have on my shoulder so here now using my chalk I'm going to connect like this then after connecting like that I'm going to go ahead and cut out the shape that I have so you can see and then this is the hem of the clothes so you can see now so you cut out your armhole the same way you have it on your on your back panel so by the time you drop it down this waistline is going to be equal with what you have so now I'm going to bring in my my scissors and then I'll start to cut all around it. So 
the side remains the same the arm all remains the same the only difference is the volume that we have introduced to this front okay so this is what we have here if it's looking confusing on the front you can just give it a little notch to indicate where your shoulder is so now this is what i have i'm going to remove the front panel the back panel okay so opening up top now you can see now that the waistline is like a v-shape so by the time we open it out and then we we'll drop our cow down it will go back to its original form so now i just want to arrange it so that i can see how much uh, volume that i have there remember we opened it up by 10 inches which is actually a lot so if you don't want yours to be this much you just need to reduce the volume down so you can see how drulo it has dropped and then this is our shoulder point here so remember this pattern actually this dress actually has this blouse sorry this blouse has a collar so what i'm going to do now is to first go ahead to join it on my shoulder so remember this is the shoulder point i'm going to join it shoulder point to shoulder point on both sides so for my collar I'm going to mark what measure what I have on the back. So for the back now I have about for the back neckline I have about seven inches or there about there and then this is the front. So this is the shoulder point where the shoulder stops on the front. So now from where that shoulder point stops, you mark how much color that you want for the front as well. So you can also use the measurement that it was for the back. Remember we use the same neckline for the back. So now the back is going to be around three and a half inches on fold. So you can just measure the three and a half inches for the front as well. You increase it to four if that's what you want. So now for the front, if I'm working with four inches for my collar, I'll add four inches to another four inches. Remember, we have two sides for the front. So that's going to leave me eight inches for the front and seven inches for the back collar. So if you had eight inches to seven inches, you're going to be having around 15 inches. So I'll go ahead now and cut a shirt collar of 15 inches long. And then I'm going to also sew my shoulder together so that i can show her how to fix the collar so i have sewn the shoulder you can see i joined this from shoulder to shoulder that's front and back together so this is what it looks like now after joining the shoulder it's just going to help you to control the neckline and then it's going to take the form it's supposed to take so this is what we have and for my collar as well, I have gone ahead to cut out my shirt collar. The tutorial on how to cut the shirt collar is already on the channel, so you can check it out. So this is the collar, and then I added interfacing to mine because I'm working with a doll face fabric. So I added interfacing to mine, and then I sew it all around, and then I folded in my seam allowance so that it can be easy for me to sew. So I folded in half inch for my seam allowance, and then I ironed it down. So this is what the collar is looking like. I remember the collar is supposed to be 15 inches so you can see i have exactly 15 inches here so when i was cutting it i made sure to add half an inch on both sides for my same allowance so now the next thing is to fix our collar so to fix this collar you have to note the midpoint of the collar remember it's going to come from the back so you just put it on fold and mark the midpoint so here i have marked my midpoint with my chalk you can see and then for the back main bodies as well i notch the center back so what i'm going to do now is to pin all around first so that i can show us how to do this so i'm matching it center back to center back here and then i'm going to just pin all around with half an inch that i used to turn it out so now see it's from the center back to the front so this is the shoulder area i'm going to pin it with the same half an inch but remember for the front we cut out the facing together with the main body so i'm not going to be pinning the front with half an inch i'm going to include some of the facing and just the way we tilted it you can see from this from the shoulder area it was around half an inch and then it, it was increasing remember we connected this to the diagonal form so it was increasing so that is how i'm going to be pinning it as well so you can see i'll just take a little of the a little of the facing of the front together with my with my collar for the front as well i hope you understand this so you can see now that i just have a little bit of it like that and then i'm going to continue to pin it so now the same thing is what I'm going to be doing for the front, for the other side. So you can just take 
a measurement of what you have taken here so i have about two inches so i'm going to connect this as well and then i'll pin so you can check what you have but it's going to be around that two inches as well so you can see so now i'm going to pin this all around as well and then i'll take it to my sewing machine now and then i will sew it down so after sewing it down the next thing you're going to do now is to flip it over remember we've already ironed it down you're just going to flip it over and sew so before you do this please make sure you serge the hem all of this place remember it's a fabric that frills so you need to set this all around first before you fix your color so i have gone ahead to sew it i decided to just change it to one inch so i just took it in by one inch so now let me open it up so you can see from the from the shoulder area i started increasing my front okay and then to about i think one inch here or one and a half inches with similar one so you can see so i just sew it all around from there and then i did the same thing to the other side i sew it as well so now to close it up remember we have already folded in the same allowance on the other side so what you just need to do now is to fold this in neatly like this the face the facing that you took from the front you fold it in and then you cover it up with this so you can see how neat it is looking so now you fold like this and i'm just going to pin this down so that we can see you go over to the next to the second one you fold in the allowance like this and then you cover it up with your so you can see that it is neat so now after doing that you fold the regular ones as well and then you go ahead and sew on it so all of this facing now is going to drop inwards which is why i said you should make sure that this part is neat so it is sewn now and this is what it looks like so you can see how neat it is on both sides so this edge has to be really neat that's why you just flipped it like that so now the next thing to do now is to go ahead and join these sides together so you just fold it right side facing right side and then you sew by the same allowance that you left and then you fix a sleeve of your choice okay so the side seam is joined now and this is what our blouse looks like so this is the color you can see the facing that we make inwards like that so all of these rough edges make sure you serge it so that it can be nice and this is what it looks like on the other side and you can see how deep and plunging this neckline is looking and you can see the drapes that we have around there look at all of those drapes so you just open it as much as you want depending on the volume that you want remember i used 10 inches to open mine and this is what 10 inches gave me so you can do more or less depending on what you want i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one bye